Radio Crusader. It's time to kick it with some chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. Welcome back, everybody. It's Freddie Mac, your ham radio crusader. And I'm here today to talk to you about remote linking all-star. Let's say, for instance, you've got your ham repeater is at a remote location way out in the country. And it's lucky to have electric, but it does. But uh, let's say you've got a, a ham repeater or a GMRS repeater that is in the wilderness nonetheless. It's in a rural location and there's no internet at the site because you want to put an all-star node or GMRS live or some such on that repeater, but there's no internet at the site. So how do you manage that? Well, this video is going to help you with that problem. This is my resolution. This is how I solved that problem through the advice of others and the guidance of others once I got it in place to get the adjustments just right to make it work because I couldn't afford to put an internet connection and at the site and have another continuing cost. And don't get me wrong, this may not work in every situation. It'd be a safe bet that this would work in most situations. It would take a dedicated All-Star or GMRS Live node or some such to make this application work, but it works, and that's the long and short of it. So take a look at this video and tell me what you think. Let me know down in the comments how you would do it. How do you do it? Do you do it differently? Do you do it better? I'm open to everything when it comes to making the situation better. If you have a amateur radio repeater that is in a remote location and you need and you want to put it onto All Star or GMRS Live or something similar and you don't have internet at that site, Take a look at this video. This could very well help you. Uh, it is my hope that you get all kinds of use out of it and that maybe you will leave something in the comments to help me improve my situation. Uh, not that mine's bad. Mine works, but I'm always up for something better, especially when it helps the ham radio community. All right, here's the video. Let's take a look. Do you have a ham radio repeater or a GMRS repeater in a very, very remote location like this one? You got really good elevation, but your repeater is in the middle of nowhere. And that's not always a bad thing, but usually in these remote sites, it's really difficult to get internet to them and in this case with our 70 centimeter repeater there is no internet here as you can tell the shack is quite antiquated but it serves its purpose we do have electricity and backup power but there is no internet at this site so when we wanted to put our all-star node in we did not have internet so what did we do well, just so happens since I worked for the county, and since I could put it at the county courthouse, it was only about, it was just a little over seven miles as the crow flies from the county courthouse to the repeater location. And I thought, well, heck, why not just put in a link radio? So what I did is something that was a lot simpler than I thought it would be, because I fretted for the longest time about Oh, gee whiz, am I going to have to try to get internet to that site via microwave link or some other way and have to pay another bill? And I got to researching and soon came to the realization that I could do something else. So here is an illustration of how a normal all-star node at home works. If you don't have a Shari Pi Hat or some other similar device, I built my own all-star node at home and it's basically called a local area node in what's called semi half duplex mode. So when you're setting up your all-star node on ham VoIP, you come to a point in the, in the setup where it asks you if you want it to be a semi half duplex or full de duplex or other, there are other selections in there as well, but full duplex is for a full two radio repeater where this is just a node where the one radio works in simplex to do all the transmitting and receiving. As you can see right here, all-star node radio is hooked to a sound fob. It'd be like a DMK Yuri X or a Techno by George uh, sound fob, the ARA1 or an ARA1 plus. And then it would tie in via the USB cable 
into a Raspberry Pi, which would have an SD card on it loaded with the Hamvoip software, and it can in turn connect to the internet and then onto the All Star Link network. Where me at the house, walking around the house, as long as I'm in range of this radio, my walkie talkie can talk straight to my All Star node, and I can use the DTMF buttons, connect or disconnect, or I can log in through Supermon or Supermon 2. And my antenna on my home node is outside of my house on a J-Pole, so it has a pretty good range. So I can talk on a walkie or a mobile radio all around my hometown, and I'll be on All Star. But how do I get this to work at, on my repeater that is in a remote spot with no internet? Well, this is how I achieved it. I took a separate All Star node that I had built with a TYT TH9000D, hooked it to a sound fob, that's connected to a Raspberry Pi and I put it in the county courthouse because I have internet there. And the antenna has line of sight as about a little over seven miles to where the repeater is located as the crow flies. It's a much longer drive, but as the crow flies, it's just a little over seven miles. And this all-star node is a different node number than my home node. My home node is 58176 and this one is 57788. And it connects at the courthouse to the courthouse internet and connects to the All Star Link network. And it is programmed to a duplex frequency as if it were a mobile radio in my vehicle talking to the repeater. It is programmed as such to receive on 444.175 with a PL of 88.5 and to transmit on 449.175 with a PL of 88.5. And every time it keys up, it talks right to the repeater that's about seven miles away. This all-star node sits in the fourth floor of the county courthouse and nobody actually touches it. The only time it gets talked through will be from the internet. So that's its sole purpose is for whoever connects to the node to talk over the repeater. And when the repeater talks, so you've got someone out in the field that's talking on the repeater. That signal in turn goes back to the All-Star node radio and talks over the All-Star link network to whatever nodes my node is connected to. So it's rather convenient. I don't have to pay for an extra internet connection and this node talks to the repeater and the repeater talks to this node. And I can control this node remotely with my Supermon connection or by DTMF as long as I'm in range of this repeater. And this repeater covers almost the entire county perfectly. There are a few spaces in the county that the signal's a little weak and the DTMF, the DTMF might not go through, but there's more coverage areas than there are not. Okay, so here's some special considerations that you need to make before you set up your remote all-star node for your repeater that's out of sight with no internet. You're gonna to have to do one of two things. Your repeater, if it has any identifiers on it or courtesy tones or a squelch tail, you're going to want to highly consider disabling them and letting the all-star node do it or Cut them all off on your all-star node all courtesy tones identification cw or voice and any squelch tail delay which i can guide you through you can turn them off on your all-star node and let your repeater do all that or you can turn them all off on your repeater and let your all-star node handle that it's basically a controller by proxy the way i did it I, since i'm running a yesu dr2x i believe it is yeah, since I'm running a Yesu DR2X repeater, uh, it doesn't have a super robust controller. It's not a bad controller. It does do a CWID. It does have a hang time timer that you can set to different settings. But I don't believe it does a voice ID that I've discovered. And it just doesn't have a whole lot of other settings. Where if you set that hang time timer to about 250 milliseconds, Turn off your CWID, your all-star node will handle everything else. Now at first, what I did is I set my repeater's hang time uh, down to about 
500 milliseconds, I believe it was. And I still got this ping pong effect. The all-star note had a hang time, the repeater had a hang time, and it was just enough to put it into this infinite loop back and forth. When the repeater would unkey, that hang time would trip the all-star node. When, it got, when the all-star node got finished, the repeater would key back up because there was this hang time. Uh, it, what was easiest for me at first was to set what's called a, I think it's a USB delay. Okay, you're going to want to adjust your RX on delay settings in Simple USB, and it's, it's easier to do that in the simpleusb.conf file. You scroll almost all the way to the bottom till you see RX on delay equals, and I put a minus 100 there. It was like a 100 millisecond delay, so once the repeater could unkey, the All Star node wouldn't receive for like 100 milliseconds which is very quick, but it was just enough time to keep the ping pong effect at bay. So after a while, I decided to tweak it, and I just went to the repeater site and turned off all the courtesy tones, narrowed down the hang time on the repeater down to 250 milliseconds, and I believe that's about all I had to do. So the all-star node does all the courtesy tones, all the hang time timer, and... I set that RX on delay in uh, simple USB settings back to zero, which is the default setting. And that if you quick ping my repeater now, if you just click, click, you're not going to hear anything. But if you click it and hold it for more than 250 milliseconds, you'll hear the All Star node unkey. The courtesy tone will be coming from the All Star node. So these are the two things that you need to decide before you make these changes because. If your repeater has a 30 second hang time and you want to keep that, then you're going to have to adjust your all star node accordingly so you don't have this constant ping pong effect. Make sense? Hit me up in the comments or DM me on, on, uh, DM me on Discord, the Ham Radio Crusader Discord server, link in the description, and uh, hit, hit us up if you have any tweaks that you need help with well folks that's the long and the short of it right there an all-star node dedicated to connect to your ham radio repeater at a nearby location that has internet and it will work once you get the timing just right and the settings and ham voip it doesn't take much tweaking and you've got a functioning all-star node on your ham radio repeater or your GMRS repeater for GMRS Live or some similar service. It's my hope that you got something good out of this video and I hope and pray that you, if you know of a better way or improvements that I can make upon my system, leave it down in the comments. If I'm doing it right, leave it down in the comments. Let me know how it's going on. Let me know how I'm doing and give me all kinds of feedback that you can. I'd appreciate it because you know I can do a lot of things. And I mean, I can do a lot of things, but the one thing I can't do is make this channel thrive and grow without your help. Any and all help is appreciated. This is Freddie Mac, your ham radio crusader saying 73s and ham on y'all.